I'm E and I'm a Hi, I'm E and I'm a <laughs> Hi, I'm E and I'm a Norwegian water buffalo farmer from Norway. I bought this farm two years ago, and last year I established pasture on this field. And this year, we've started to graze it. I divide the pasture in smaller areas for the animals to graze on, and I move them every day. And that's what I'll be doing right now. Welcome to my morning routine. Now why do this every day? Now the traditional way of grazing, uh, at least around here, is to open up and uh, let the animals roam freely. Then they can graze whatever grasses they want, and they have a tendency to go and eat the things they like the best. That means that what they like best won't have time to grow, and set long roots down in the soil, making all the other things that we kind of don't want, uh, so-called the weeds, making that thrive set roots, grow up, and uh, kind of take over the place. And then in a couple of years you have to plow and seed and fertilize and do everything all over again. What I hope to achieve by doing it this way is for the grass to really grow, uh, set roots, and make good soil. And by moving them every day they don't have to go and eat uh, surrounded by their own shit. Woo! This area has now rested for this many days and these are the seeds I put in there. Now if you recognize any species of grass that's not in the list, please comment below. Now that's it then, uh, now we're set for uh, another 24 hours of grazing. I want the buffaloes to stay out here as much as possible, so that all the poo and the pee will uh, function as a fertilizer for the, for the soil. The only thing is that they think it's too hot. So they come out here, uh, they graze a little, and they walk all the way back to the barn where, where the water is and uh, where there's a big enough shadow to fit them all. So if I could have some uh, mobile shade and, uh, and mobile water, maybe they wouldn't have to go out that much. I just got this notification on Instagram. In Ontario, Canada, there's also a dude uh, doing water buffaloes and his name is Rod and he just got a new baby boy and he named it Espen. <laughs> now I might have something to do with it. I call my youngest bull for Rod and Rod, I'm honored. <laughs> but you know you can't harvest him, right? 
you can't harvest a little dude called Espen, so he needs to be your new priced premium stud. Alright, all right. hope all is well in Ontario. So now my work here on the pasture is done. Uh, so the plan now is to go in and have some breakfast and, and start the rest of the day. Uh, but it would be a much cooler video if we could uh, get the war buffaloes out to start grazing. So I'll see if I can lure them out. 